Hello, everyone. Today's poem is Da Ya Han Yi, a Da Ya poem from the Book of Songs. This poem talk about a very important state, the Han State in the West Zhou Dynasty. Anyhow, it's not the well-known Han State normally we're talked about,、uh, which is actually in the time of the East Zhou Dynasty,、uh, in the Warrior States period, and uh, also uh, today, if we call career in Chinese in Mandarin,、uh, we call it Han Guo. So, which share the same name as this state in the West Zhou Dynasty. So,、uh, in the West Zhou Dynasty, they will call it Han Guo. Okay, that's very interesting. So, but I anyhow I don't know、uh, why the career they use this term,、uh, and、uh, if some one know it, you can、uh, make a comment. The Han Dynasty is of very strategic locations. Just look at the map. To the west is the vast plain which surrounded the capital, and.、Uh, To the east, it's just alongside Yellow River. It's one of the two passageway to the east of the country from the capital area. And to the north, it's the mountain Liangshan, the Liang Mountain, and、uh, which believed is a, a very wild place in that. Time and a lot of the tribe they live in the mountains. Sometimes they come out,、uh, invade and、uh, rob the the people, the Zhou people. So、uh, it's sort of the boundary areas to the north. So this place is basically a fortress to defend the tribe in the north mountains and a guard to secure the. Passageway to the east. Okay, the first paragraph. Yi Yi Liang Shan, Wei Yu Dian Zhi, You Zhuo Qi Dao. The big, endless Liang Mountain. It's the place that Da Yu hunting here, and there is a main road. So actually, at the very beginning, the poet gave us. The、uh, summary of this strategic strategic lo- location. Why is strategic? The very very ancient ancestor Da Yu, the the figure who was famous to、uh, to solve the flooding problems of the Yellow River. So normally he was treated as the first king、uh, who. Uh, rule the people as the king in the Chinese history. Da Yu, a very famous figure. So, the in the first sentence, it recalls to the first king Da Yu. It's not Zhou Dynasty. It's Xia Dynasty, two dynasty、uh, before the Zhou Dynasty. So, it's a、uh, for the Zhou people. It's very very ancient、uh, time. It's This place is a very strategic place. Already, it's sort of the boundary place. So our ancestor make hunting there. Dian is equivalent as Tian. Tian today means the field, the farming field. But in the Zhou Dynasty, it means hunting. And in the Zhou Dynasty, the hunting basically is equal to war. So when they do the hunting, sometimes they, uh, they just hunting the animals, the birds. But sometimes they use up this opportunity to drive the savage trap away from this area. So it's basically it's a war. But the this war is not between states, be not between the civilized. People, uh, the, the, in the man side of the Zhou people, it's the war, uh, to the animals, to the savage tribes. Yu Zhuo Qi Dao point out very clearly 
there is a main road here. Which main road? It's the passageway. It's the gateway to the east. Okay, the next sentence. Han Hou Shou Ming, Wang Qin Ming Zhi. The Lord of Han accept the order from the king.、Uh, it's the order that from the king directly. Zan Rong Zu Kao Wu Fei Zhen Ming. Zan is a rite in the ancestors temple. Rong means the wall, the weapons. So Zan Rong basically means they make some of the agreement, a plan.、Uh, On the wall, before their ancestors in the ancestors' temples. So that's the normal procedure. So when they have anything big, they make their plan and、uh, swear and、uh, reach agreement,、uh, declare the plan in the ancestors' temples. So the the third sentence means they make the plan. They、uh, finally they declare the this order. In the ancestors' temples, and、uh, the king、uh, expressed that you should never for forget this order. You should never fail this order. 无非证明 you should never fail this order. So this is a very very important order, not only for the Lord of Han, also it's. A very very important order for the、uh, Zhou Dynasty for the king as well,、uh, because、uh, the order is about the Han State, about this very strategic location. Okay, let's continue. Su Ye Fei Jie, Qian Gong Er Wei. So the order asked the Lord of Han. Not to be loose, no matter it's daytime or nighttime. So you should be very, very, uh, very, very, uh, cautious in the daytime as well as in the nighttime. Qian Gong Er Wei means your position as the state lord should be respect and should be commonly. Uh, fulfilled by all your people, not only by yourself, because you are the state lord. You have a lot of people under you, so you should make sure make sure that everybody in your state share the same duty, share the same responsibility with you. Okay, then the next sentence: Zhen Ming Bu Yi, Gan Bu Ting Fang, Yi Zuo Rong Pi. Okay, the last sentence is a more detail、uh, about the order from the king. So my order would never changed. 证明不易 My order won't be changed. And、uh, the order is 干不停方 You should use your weapon, use your power to those people who don't come to the. Uh, court. So this is a little bit hard for non-Chinese or for modern Chinese even. 不停方 means the people who don't attend to the king's court, which means who doesn't follow the law, doesn't follow the orders of the king. Could be savage traps or could be a state, a betrayed state. So so. Basically, they mean the enemies of the Zhou people. Gun is a weapon, so it means you should use your power, use your weapon、uh, upon those enemies who don't come to the、uh, king of Zhou. So you should、uh, conquer them and let them obey the order of the king.、Uh, so the next sentence: Yi Zuo Rong Pi. So With that uh, uh, conquering, with that、uh, with the war, you can assist Yi Zuo. You can assist the king、uh, of war and law. Rong means war, 
P means the law. So basically, the last sentence means my order would never change. The order of the king would never change, and the, the order is the Han State Lord. You should、uh, use it of power. You should. Uh, make declare war to those our enemies and let them obey the order. Let them obey the laws of the king. So in the history book, Zhu Shu Ji Nian, there is two items about this order. So in the King Cheng's time,、uh, in the twelve years of King Cheng, Wang Shuai, Yan Shi, Cheng Han. So the king and The army of Yan, they built the Han State, and Wang Si Han Hou Ming, the king,、uh, gave the order to the Lord of Han. So that's、uh, at the very beginning of the West Zhou Dynasty. And the the other item is Xuan Wang 四年，王命绝父如韩，韩侯来朝 So in the This is at the very end、uh, of the West Zhou Dynasty by the King Xuan. So he sent a officer, so called as Jue Fu, to the Han State and ask the Han、uh, State Lord to come to the King's court, which means, uh, oh, which. Very likely implies that the relationship between the king and the lord of Han is not very well. So the king used this opportunity to enhance their relationships and gave the lord some new orders. We can see that in this point. So in the first paragraph, it's hardly to tell which order. It was talking about, but I do believe it's a very, very general overview of this place, and very likely it refers to the both events in the history. Refer refers to both orders the King of Zhou gave to this state, gives to this lord. Anyhow. The detailed description of the order,、uh, the event of the order, in the following paragraphs, were likely referring to the second、uh, order, second event. But it's still a very, very strong echo to the past, to the first event, to the first order. Okay, the next paragraph. 四亩一亿，孔修且张。The four horses are so big. Kong is big. Xiu is well cleaned and decorated. Zhang is a long word, means long.、Uh, so the four horses are big and long and well cleaned and decorated. So this is a very uh, common uh, writings in the. Book of Songs,、uh, to write about the chariot, the horses, to reflect the atmosphere and reflect the powerful and magnificent laws. Okay, the next sentence: Han Hou 入晋，以其戒规入晋于王。The Lord of Han come in to see the king. 入晋 is a very very special, uh, uh, or a dedicated word, which means to. See、uh, to see the king. 以其规戒 he used the jade of 规戒 as the vehicle to come in to see the. How could a jade article to be the vehicle to see the king? That's the right. That's the code of conduct in the Zhou Dynasty. So when the Lord, when the noble person wants to see the king, he should carry a piece of jade, a delicate jade article, 归戒 as a gift to the king. And then after the meeting, the king will、uh, send back this 
jade article to the lord to the noble person. So that basically that's the uh, very basic uh, fundamental code of conduct. Whenever the two people meet up, the people come to should take a gift to the host. People with different levels use different uh, articles as gift. The lord, the state lord, use the jade article, gui nie. Uh, the senior officers, they use a goose as the gift. So different levels of people, they have a very, very well-defined uh, article of gift. Okay, the next sentence. Wang Ci Han Hou, Shu Qi Sui Zhang, Dian Fu Cuo Heng, Xuan Gun Chi Xi, Gou Ying Lou Yang, Kuo Hong Qian Mie, Tiao Ge Jin E. Wow, very complicated, even for today's Chinese. Basically, it tells that the king gave a lot of gifts to the Lord of Han. So let me give some of the examples. Shu Qi, so a kind of flag, kind of insignia of the family. Sui Zhang, so that's another uh, logo, a flag, and uh, very likely is a logo of war. Sui means to conquer, to uh, to calm down uh, by the power, by the law. And uh, Dian Fu is something you a sheet use on the chair out. Cuo Heng is also a, a component on the chair out. So there's a very, very good example you can uh, cross check, uh, which was so called Qin Bronze chair out. So which was a, a, a archived uh, from the tomb of the first emperor, uh, a bronze chair out. So it shows every, every details of uh, how the chair out looks like. And the Xuanguan is a black uh, suit with the dragon's logo. Chi Xi is the, a very special type of red shoes. So with the Chi Xi, it's only available for the Lord of States. And uh, Jin E, the golden, uh, golden components on the horses, and the Tiao Ge, the, uh, the rope uh, on, on the, for the horses, to control the horses, was made of the fine leather. So you can see it's all kinds of very uh, the finest, the most expensive, valuable uh, gifts uh, that the uh, king gave to the lord. The gifts from the king normally is the reward to his achievement, to his contribution to the country, to the king. And uh, from my wild guess, very likely it's a reward to the uh, Lord of Han, uh, his victory over some enemies, or he just safeguard this very important passageway. Okay, the third paragraph. Han Hou Chu Zu Chu Su Yu Tu. The Lord of Han stepped up, stepped out of the ancestors' temple, and he stayed overnight at the place of. Tu Tu is a place name. So there's a lot of things uh, behind of the first sentence. Normally, Chu Zu was uh, explained as to make sacrifice to the god of road. Uh, so it was explained or guessed out that when the ancient Chinese uh, is about to make a long trip, they will uh, make sacrifice, they will pray to the god of road to uh, pray for safety trip. But actually, it's not the case. 
Zu is always referring to the ancestor or the ancestor's temple. And here is very clearly tell us this Chu Zu means after this <coughs> meet up with the king, the meeting, the, the most uh, serious and most decent meeting was always in the ancestors temples. It's just like to make a swear in front of God. You, all the words, all the behavior was witnessed by God. And for the Zhou people, the most decent things is to, to be witnessed by their ancestors in the ancestors temples. So Chu Zu actually tell us ver something very important. They m have some important deal or something very important things happened in the ancestors temples and that was finished and the Lord of Han he carried all these maybe the agreement uh, order from the king with him and he stepped out of the ancestors temple and uh, uh, went on their way to somewhere so uh, the place of two is the midway let's see what's happened in the midway you can cross check another uh, poem described a similar events the overnight stay in the journey. The poem is in Bay Wind, Bay Feng Quan Shui, the Bay Wind Spring. Okay, let's continue. Xian Fu Jian Zhi, Qing Jiu, Bai Hu, Qi Xiao Wei He, Pao Bie, Xian Yu. Father Xian hold a farewell dinner to him. He served hundreds of bottles of clear wine. And what did they eat? It's the barbecue turtle with raw fish. So let's make some of the explanation and the wording. Xian Fu. Xian is the name of, of that person. Fu is, uh, of course, all those people are noble persons. Fu means it's his a uh, senior person already and so uh, which actually shows that the lord of han was uh, with very very high social levels and uh, the he was treated by another very senior person xian fu the wine was so called as qingjiu this term doesn't exist uh, today in China, but still exists in Japanese. So uh, the sake, when, when it was written, it was written in the Chinese character Qingjiu, like Qingjiu here. And uh, the best dishes is composed of turtle, the barbecue turtle pao beer pao is barbecue beer is the turtle in the fresh water xian yu raw fish so very likely it's uh, sashimi uh, in the zhou dynasty qi su wei he wei sun ji pu so what's the veggie they have so you can see in even in the some 3,000 years ago, the Chinese people uh, already have a very uh, fine dining already. So they have wine, the very different quality of wines, and they have the barbecues, they have their uh, sashimis, and they also have the veggies together. Su is a long word, means it's shu today. Uh, it means veggie, vegetable, vegetable. The veggie is sun and uh, pu. Sun is bamboo. Pu, actually, we don't actually know today. It's sort of the uh, weeds 
in the river or in the small ponds. 骑赠为何？胜马路车。So what's the gift、uh, sent to the Lord of Han? The chariot and the horses. So that's a very very expensive gift, actually. So the chariot for the Zhou people is just like the private jet plane. So only the most high level, the senior noble persons, they have it. 边斗有居，侯氏宴虚。There is also dishes for our ancestors, and、uh, that's by the state lord and by the son-in-law of the Yan states. So here is、uh, some of the wild gas、uh, from me personally. Bian dou is the dishes、uh, served to their ancestors or as side dishes, but I do prefer to explain it as the dishes served for their ancestors. Yu ju ju is ancestors, and、uh, that's also the lifestyle of the Zhou people because the. Uh, the people has social levels, and the, the ancestors are always in the highest、uh, levels of their social structure, and they serve the dead as the live people. So when they have some of the big deal, have a big dinner,、uh, have some of the best moments, they always、uh, include their ancestors、uh, in that. Events were so normally is to serve the sacrifice to offer the foods to their ancestors, and、uh, these habits actually still exist in today's life in China. So、uh, in the Qingming festival or in the、uh, some of the anniversary days,、uh, the people. Uh, the sons, the daughters will serve foods to his passed away father, to his, to her passed away mothers. So that's the tradition from the Zhou Dynasty. Bian Dou Yu Ju actually、uh, tell us very clearly we have served the dishes for our ancestors as well. So we are always humble. We are always follows. Code of conduct and the ancestors are always in our mind. And Hou、uh, Shi actually is point out that the、uh, social level, the rank of the、uh, of this point、uh, of this event, it's the laws of the Han State, right? So he, he Hou is the、uh, rank. Of the noble person, so he is with very high rank.、Uh, is a very high-ranking noble person. He's the state lord of Han State. Yan Xu, Xu, here very likely refers to he is the son or in-law of the Yan State. Yan refers to a state. So there is many Yan states in the Zhou Dynasty, but we can find which Yan state it is in the following paragraph. So basically, the third paragraph is about an、uh, overnight stay in the midway to somewhere, and the place name is Tu, and、uh, the host of this place, Xian Fu, hold a grand party. And、uh, they have many wines, have the best foods, and、uh, still they are humble. They、uh, make their offering to、uh, to make their sacrifice to their ancestors, and、uh, it's point out that something about a marriage because it's point out this lord is the son、uh, son-in-law to the Yan states. Okay, the fourth paragraph. Han Hou 娶妻，分王之生，绝父
之子。Okay, we come to the marriage. So this event is about a marriage between the Lord of Han and another party. The another party is Jue Fu. So Jue Fu is a very familiar name in the Book of Songs. In the another poem, Xiao Ya Jie Nan Shan, we can see、uh, Jue Fu's name in that poem. And、uh, in that poem, Jue Fu was basically described or implied as a senior officer in the central government. So this marriage basically is in the vast capital area. The two lords lived in the vast area. Of the capital area, so which was so called as Jingji or Jinei, so、uh, that's a very very special、uh, place through the Chinese history. Jingji, like the Washington D.C., so the、uh, the area surrounded Washington D.C. is always a very very special place. The laws lived within this area. Normally, they carry a lot of the duties、uh, of the central governments, and、uh, they do a lot of the work、uh, on behalf of the king.、Uh, not like other states. Normally, the lord just、uh, their only duty is just to manage the、uh, state affairs within their states, and、uh, the lords lived in the. Capital area. Normally, they are very likely could be a senior officer in the central government. They share a lot of the responsibilities of the kings, so they are the most prominent people、uh, in the whole country always. So the first sentence basically tells us it's a marriage between two lords who、uh, lived. Within the、uh, capital area, so they are the very prominent.、Uh, they are the most、uh, famous person in the country、uh, around the capital area, and Jue Fu is the father of the girl. And、uh, Fen Wang Zhi Sheng actually pointed out the girl's mother was. Fen Wang's sister. So there's a lot lot of argument on who was this Fen Wang because there's no record in the history、uh, telling about this Fen Wang. But from the character Wang, when normally we know it's a king. So who is this king?、Uh, so there's a lot of argument, but it's not a big deal.、Uh, we, you just imagine that the girl. So、father is a senior officer in the central government,、uh, lived around the capital area, and the girl's mother was the、uh, king's sister.、Uh, Sheng means nephew, so which、uh, clearly indicated the mother was the sister of a king of the king Fen Wang. So, so the girl. Has a very very good、uh, background, and we also know the bridegroom, the Lord of Han, is a very very prominent person.、Uh, he get the order from the king directly, and his state is a very very strategic state, a very nice. State. Okay, let's continue. Han Hou Ying Zhi, Yu Jue Zhi Li. So, the purpose of the Lord of Han to come here is to、uh, fetch the bride. So that's the code of conduct. The、uh, bridegroom's family should send a troop to the. Uh, girls' family, hometown, to fetch the girls, and、uh, this time is quite special. So normally,、uh, it was told that 
the bridegroom won't、uh, go to the girl's family by himself.、Um, but anyhow, actually, nobody is so sure it's the code of conduct or not. But、uh, in this situation, the Lord of Han, the bridegroom, bridegroom, he was there. Yu Jue Zhi Li, Ju. He was at the county of Jue. So from here, you also know it's a lord. the The name and their county is the same name. It's just like the、um, the 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 Spanish, the Italians,、uh, someone the de e someone de e some place. So that indicates that one was the lord of that place, and their name is from that、uh, name of place. So that's the way in the Zhou Dynasty as well. Okay, the next sentence: 百辆蓬蓬，八銮锵锵，皮显其光 So the lord of Han, he was with. Hundreds of chariots to fetch the bride, and the chariot was、uh, making the sound by the bell on the chariot. Ba luan, the eight bells on the chariot. Qiang qiang is the sound simulation words. The bell、uh, rings. Qiang qiang, pi xian qi guang. It's shining. So it's so shining. The chariots, the horses, and the people. Zhu Ti Cong Zhi Qi Qi Ru Yun. So many sisters followed the bride. Zhi is the bride. The many sisters followed the bride, and their thick hair. It's just like the clouds. Qi Qi is very, very、uh, abundant and thick clouds. Zhu Di refers to the sisters, the cousins of the bride.、Uh, they are the concubine. So that's the code of conduct. That's the noble's marriage with one decent wife and、uh, several. Concubines. Next sentence. Han Hou Gu Zhi Lan Qi Ying Men. The Lord of Han looked at those girls, and those girls smashed the doorway. So it's a very interesting writing here that he described the, the、uh, Lord of Han is so outstanding, but he indirectly. Because when the bridegroom, the Lord of Han,、uh, looking to the girls at the same time, the girls was of course is so curious and、uh, so eager to look at the bridegroom, the Lord of Han as well. So they are looking at each other, and、uh, because the Lord is so outstanding that the people, the full house. Was going out from the door and smashed the door. So just imagine the noble's family normally is a with of big families,、uh, hundreds, thousands of people in a big family. Many girls, many boys, many old men, many、uh, young kids. So when this very Joyful marriage was about to hold, so everybody is so happy and、uh, curious. And、uh, when the Lord shows up at the front door, everybody rushed to the main door and want to look at and want to、uh, see how the Lord looks like. So the fourth paragraph gave us a very lively snapshot of this. Wedding, when the bridegroom was at the door, and the bride, the concubines, and all the bride's family was 
about to step out of the door. So they are facing each other for the first time, and they are looking to each other for the first time. Okay, the fifth paragraph. 绝富孔武，迷国不道，为寒极相友，莫如寒乐。The father-in-law, 绝富 is so big and strong, and he almost go every state. 迷国 not a state. He don't go. 为寒极相友 So for the marriage of Han Ji, his girl, his daughter. So for the marriage,、uh, for his daughter's marriage, he goes to almost every state. And finally, he thought not a one was as happy as the state of Han. This sentence gave us a very, very important information about the. Name of this girl about the bride, Han Ji. The name Han Ji. The first part refers the state name where she married to. Ji is her family name, so that's the family family name for Jue Fu as well. And、uh, this also correspond to. Another term in the previous paragraph, uh, Yan Xu. In the third paragraph, Hou Shi Yan Xu. So from the history book, the there are so many Yan states, and、uh, with different family names, and、uh, Ji is one of them. So there is a Yan state. With the family name of Ji, and that's also a key、uh, reason that only different names they could have marriage. So the other very famous Yan state basically is with the family name of the Ji, with the same family name. Of the Zhou King. So, from the history book, we know the Han State is also with the share the same family name with the Zhou King. So, if they has the same family name, they cannot have this marriage. So, from two reasons. First thing first, they can have marriage. So, the Lord of Han, he's from the. Royal blood. He was. He shared the same family name with the king of Zhou, and Ji. And the bride's family name is Ji, and this is, we know for sure, is a different family name from the royal blood. So these two family names,、uh, with these two family names, they can have a decent marriage. So in the beginning of the fifth paragraph, it tells us that the daughter's father、uh, has went almost every state to find a good、uh, son-in-law, find a good boy for his daughter, Han Ji. Han Ji is the daughter's name after this marriage. Before the marriage.、Uh, We don't know how to call it, but after marriage, the girl's name was Han Ji, and、uh, be- the following sentence gives the reason why the girl's father chose the、uh, Lord of Han as his son-in-law. Okay, let's continue. 孔乐寒土，川泽郁郁 So it's nothing about. Uh, the boy. It's about the state. The marriage is about the states. So basically, that's the reality. So the noble's marriage, the king's marriage, was never about the love, about the feeling between them two. It's about the political things. It's it's about the.
power. So here it indicates very clearly because the states is so strategic and so fertile, and uh, the girl's father want her girl to marry it to this place. So that's very natural, right? Uh, so it's the happy land. The land of the Han state is a happy land. The rivers, the uh, wetlands are so vast. So the rivers and the wetlands normally indicates it's a very fertile place. Fang Yu Fu Fu Yu So the there are so many fishes. The fishes are abundant. The deers are so abundant. So this is always a lucky sign and always a sign of rich and fertile land. Yo Xiong Yo Pi, there are all kinds of bears. Yo Mao Yo Hu, there are leopard and tigers. So this also indicates the abundance of the nature of this land. So there's all kinds of creatures, fishes, tigers, deers, bears. Uh, it's such a nice place. Qing Ji Ling Ju Han Ji Yan Yu. Qing Ji, the celebration was over and uh, the girl uh, was settled down in her new family. And uh, Han Ju Yan Yu, the bride, was so entertained and so praised. So here, all the fifth paragraph is about the uh, uh, is about three things: how the marriage was planned. Basically, is is by the daughter's father. So he went around, go around all the states, and uh, make this marriage uh, married. And then the reason is because he feel this is a such a fertile and rich land. So he his daughter could have a very good life uh, after marriage, and uh, in the last line actually is the feelings or the public opinions after the wedding. The new bride, the girl, was praised, and he uh, entertained everybody. So it's a very very good wedding, right? Okay, the last paragraph. The last paragraph recalls to the history. Remember, at the very beginning, we have uh, checked the history book. Zhu Shu Jin Nian. There's uh, two orders about the state of Han, and uh, the last paragraph basically recalls to the first order in the very. Beginning of the Zhou Dynasty. Pu Bi Han Cheng Yan Shi Suo Wan. So, this vast land of and uh, this big city of Han, it was completed by the army of Yan. So, this army of Yan very likely is the from the state of Jue Fu. And from the Yan state. So here actually is a recall to two things. First thing first, the order from the king. The second thing is the friendship uh, between the uh, state of Han and state of Yan starts very, very early in the early West Zhou period. And uh, when they have this big wedding, s some hundred years later, they still remember their friendship starts 
very very early, and they want to keep their friendship, their good relationship,、uh, with this marriage as well.、Uh, okay, the next sentence: 以先祖受命，因师百百蛮 So, when we recall the first order from the king,、uh, our ancestors, because in that time there's so many savage tribes here, by man, hundreds savage tribes. So、uh, this actually、uh, is what we have analyzed why so strategic this place. It was. It's the passageway. It's the gateway to the east, and still in the the north boundaries,、uh, has so many savage traps. They should defend this very important、uh, gateway.、Uh, okay, the next sentence. Wang Si Han Hou, Qi Zui Qi Mo. So it's about the first order. The king gave the order. To the Lord of Han, and the order is to pursue and to hunting in this area. So the hunting means to drive out the animals. Maybe there's too many tigers and bears, so that's always a threat to humans. And Another very big possibility is to drive out the savage traps around. And、uh, in the next sentence, 眼受北国，因以其薄 So the Lord of Han he hunting around all the places in this North State. So the North State actually refers to the state of. Han, Han Guo. Shou is a long word, I think. So it means hunting. So Yan means all together, all over. So he hunting all over in this piece of land and drive out all the、uh, dangerous animals, all the dangerous enemies. He drive out them. Yin Yi Qi Bo. So because of this merit, because of this.、Uh, Victory over the enemies, the savage tribes. The king make him the lord of this place. Bo is the big boss, is the lord. So here actually gave us a very very、uh, true history. Or、uh, when the f- at the very beginning of the Zhou Dynasty, even some places very near the capital, there. Are still many enemies and might be very、uh, wild with too much dangerous animals, tigers, bears. So the kings gave a lot of order to the uh, his uh, brothers, his sons, and he sent this person to the. Different places, which means to assign them the lord of that place, but that means a lot of duties, a lot of task. He should secure the land, drive out the anim-、uh, wild animals, drive out the savage tribes. So and finally, only after he finished his duty, only he can achieve his responsibility. He can. Became a lord, so that's a very very tough job actually. So let's see what the first generation of the lord of Han achieved. 十雍十赫十亩十畿 So he make the small hill solid. He make the、uh, small valley solid. He make the field solid. He make the People solid. So what does mean mean solid? Shi actually means to fill in or to complete. Shi yong to solid the hill means to make the to flatten the hill to make it as a farming field. Shi he to 
to flatten the small valley, which means you make this small valley a very good、uh, farming field. 十亩 so you you fill the farming field with plant. That's also to solid the field. 十几几米 refers to the people, refers to the citizens. So he, gradually. He drive out all the animals, the savage tribes, and he、uh, managed to、uh, to make the land、uh, as a piece of good farming field. And then the people moving, and this state became a nice and prosperous state. So basically, that's the story of all the good states in the Zhou Dynasty. Okay, the last sentence. 限其皮皮，赤豹黄皮。The Lord of Han State, he sent his gift to King. The gift include the fur of pi, the leopard, the red leopard, and the yellow bear. So、uh, that could be some of the very valuable、uh, furs、uh, in the Zhou Dynasty. So here reflect two things. So the king gave him the order to、uh, sort of the colonize this area, and by driving the animals out of the area, by driving out the savage tribes out of there, and、uh, which means he established this state already, and then he should. Uh, report his、uh, result to the king. So the gift of furs, the bears' furs, the leopard furs, the tigers' furs are all the report. Actually, are the report to the king. I have complete your order. And I have made it a big success. And just look at those furs, those valuable furs. That's my report. And、uh, after this、uh, work, we have a new state, the Han State, in this very strategic location. So basically, that's the last paragraph. The last paragraph. Basically, is an echo to the first paragraph. In the first paragraph, we know the king、uh, issued an order to the Lord of Han, and we don't know which order it refers to. There are two orders in the history that the king made to the Lord of Han, and in the last paragraph,、uh, sorry, in the following paragraph, we know. Is talking about the second order, and、uh, the second order may be associated with a marriage to the Jue Fu's daughter, and、uh, there are so many things about the second order, the marriage, and、uh, in the last paragraph, the poet goes back to the order itself, and we know it very clearly. It's about the first order, so the first order and the second order. Echoes. Without a clear understanding of the two orders issued by the king,、uh, it's hardly for us to、uh, tell what the is about、uh, in this point. So let me ramp up the two orders. The first order was issued by the king to the Lord of Han at the very beginning of the West Zhou Dynasty. Basically, the order is to. Establish a new state. You should drive out all the wild enemies, the、uh, wild animals, the enemies out, and is establish a new state because this place is a very strategic place, the gateway to the east. And、uh, the second order, actually, we we're not quite sure what it's about, but we know after. The order、uh, from the king, the Lord of Han, 
received a lot of gifts from the king, and then he went to a marriage,、uh, the marriage with Jeffu's、uh, Jeffu's daughter, and、uh, so that's the second order. We don't know the content of the order, but we know the consequence of that order. So the content may be not so important or relevant to the purpose of this poem. So what the purpose of this poem? To praise the land of the Han State, right? Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.